Sean Donald and Fisher Adventure. Yo, oh, that's the right word up on now. Weird, crazy, and bizarre things are bound to happen. Can you tell us a road story that puts that in fiction? Oh, wow. Um. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the probably the most fun road story involves one of my best friends who still owes me money. Uh, but I was uh, headed to an event uh, in New England area uh, with a couple of guys, including uh, one of my one of my best friends in, in uh, Falaba, and uh, we uh, we made the, the pit stop at a rest stop, and uh, we both go to use the uh, you know the lavatories, trying to keep it respectful here, uh, and you know I'm literally. Uh, Pulling my zipper down, and out of nowhere, Falaba, all 400 pounds of him, does a running splash on me uh, at the stall. Oh my my head goes directly into the wall, and he oh. chips my tooth. Oh, my God. So uh, I got knocked loopy for a, a moment. Uh, there were some police officers that were there that heard, heard the commotion. Um, because when I came to and realized what my buddy did, I was trying to fight him. Um, and uh, the police officers that came into the restroom, one of our other buddies pulled them aside and, and said nothing was happening, that I was just off my meds. Um, <laughs> needless to say, there was uh, the rest of that drive to the event and back home and in between. I don't think one word was said between the three of us. And uh, when we later talked, and here we are four years later, and uh, yeah, he still owes me money to fix my tooth because my insurance wouldn't cover it. Why did he splash you? Uh, he was just pulling a rib, which is what we all do to pass the time. Uh, his was a little bit more violent and uh, creepy. Um, I think a stinger splash, James. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's all. Uh, that's all I'll say. <laughs>